as I began to reflect on where I am today and the journey that has been, the various milestones and lessons I have learned along the way, I remembered my younger self who didn't know what the future would look like but dreamt about all her life. I thought about the amount of times I worried about life's journey and where I'd be today. It was then I put pen to paper and wrote this letter to my younger self. Dear 15-year-old Jennifer, it's 8.30 a.m. and you have just arrived for your very first day in school in the UK. It's obvious from your excitement that you can't wait to get to class and get to make friends, but most of all, adapt to your new environment. You get to school, you get to the school reception, and you meet Miss Smith and the rest of your tutor group. You happily smile and introduce yourself, and a warm feeling, feeling kicks in as you begin to imagine what the rest of the day will look like. It's not easy being the new girl, especially with many names and different faces to remember, directions to different classes, but what stands out of the most is that you're black. You are now the second black student in the school, and you have now increased the ethnic minority population in the school to three. Can you imagine? <laughs> We've all been in that situation, haven't we? It doesn't bother you at first, until after lunch when you go to your geography lesson and your topic is on tourism in Kenya. Wow, yay me, I'm like, I get to study about tourism in Kenya in my class. I mean, how amazing is it? You get to get a glimpse of your country right there in a foreign school. The teacher then shows an an outdated video of Mombasa, those who know Mombasa, it also shows another clip of Savo National Park. You get nostalgic and remember the good old days of being back home. And suddenly, one of my classmates asks me, do you recognize anyone in the clip? I'm like, what do you mean? Why on earth would you ask me that question? Before I could even find the words to respond, another asks me, why are there no hearts? In my <laughs> utter shock, <clears throat> Any word that came out of my mouth was received with, I beg your pardon, could you please say that again? It's at that moment that it hits me that the rest of the students did not understand a word I said. I mean, English was my first language, so why was it so hard for me to be understood? I knew, I knew you were, I know you're an intelligent girl, but your accent, but with an accent, and even though you had a good command of English, this did not matter. You were the new African girl in school who was the topic of the jokes in class. How could this be? You were once at the top of your social ladder and now you are at the bottom. The butt of all unpleasant jokes. This was the first time ever in your life that you knew how it felt to be <coughs> different for reasons that you cannot change. Your bubble was burst and your eyes were now open to a reality that you did not know existed. Where is this place that mom has brought me to? Why on earth am I here? I want to go back to what I know, you thought. You struggle to fit in, and now there's a huge blow to your self-esteem. Some days are harder than others, but somehow you always manage to pull through. Despite the challenges, you do well in school and move into further education. My dear Jennifer, this is just the beginning of a long journey. Despite the negative experiences, this is where you belong. It may not feel like it, but this is where you've been planted to flourish. 